everybody welcome to a new favorites video <sighs> that was like super lame hi everyone so welcome to another favorites video and oh my gosh can you guys believe that it is already going to be November I don't even know how to process that I'm wasn't ready for Halloween much less Thanksgiving or Christmas so Oh my gosh. Well, without further ado, let's just jump into my favorites for last month. Okay guys, so to kick off this favorites video, I want to tell you guys about, let's switch it up. Let's start with hair. So one of the things that I've been loving this month, and you guys might notice from my accessories are bows. And not just specifically bows for my hair, just bows in general I have been really, really liking. But I have quite a few bows for my hair. This one um, that I'm wearing is satin and then I have a velvet one. But I also have quite a few more because I used to be really into wearing them in the back of my hair. And for some reason, I haven't lately been wanting to do that. But now that it's getting colder, for some reason, bows for me are totally back in style. Don't know about that, guys. <laughs> so the other hair... What? other hair thing that I've been absolutely loving is a new dry shampoo. You guys know that I... Um, have a commitment issue to dry shampoos like I'll love one and then I'll switch so I basically just kind of rotate through a whole bunch of brands I like but this month I want to try a totally new brand for me and so I'm trying the Tony and Guy cleanse dry shampoo and um, it says day two freshness I'm not so sure about the smell of this one like it smells clean I don't know I might just be a little <laughs> being a little harsh on this one but um, cleansing wise this one does a really good job um, I've been using this quite a lot and it's already halfway done <laughs> uh, so this one has been a good one I have liked this shampoo so let's just go ahead and jump right into the beauty stuff because that's mostly what I have for you guys as much which surprise surprise is probably not that big of a surprise so the first thing that I have to tell you guys about is something that I know everybody on YouTube has talked about already and once again I'm on the okay I got it really late train <laughs> but it was the nudes Maybelline palette I really like this one you guys um when I first purchased it, I was kind of on the fence because everybody on YouTube kept saying that this wasn't very pigmented, it didn't have a lot of color payoff, and I was like, well, if it's not that great, why should I buy it? Well, I went ahead and tried it because it showed up on the Allure Best Products of 2014 list. And so I was like, to heck with it. If Allure thinks it's good enough for them, I can try it. And I'm happy I did because this has slowly turned into one of my favorite everyday palettes. And I have to tell you... It is because of this color here, and this one, and this one. These three colors are what I've been using the most. But I use these a lot in the creases of my eye for blending with colors from like the Naked palettes or from other palettes that I already have. I just like these colors specifically because they're not that pigmented, but they have such pretty color in them that they don't really need to be that highly pigmented. I have other colors for that. These are great blending colors or everyday colors in my opinion. So I really, really like this. I'm happy I got it, I have to say. <laughs> so the next thing that I've been loving is something, once again, you guys probably are not that going to be that surprised about, is a brush. <laughs> this one is a Lancome brush and this is their blush brush. It is number six. I really like it. It has a lot of color payoff and the bristles are very dense. So I can actually this is going to sound so silly. So I can jab the color right into the places that I want and then kind of blend it out because it's a little bit denser. So this brush is definitely a try if you guys are looking for a new blush brush. Um, this one was on the more pricey side. I think it was $35, but I definitely think it was worth the money. I really do like the Lancome brushes, so give these a try if you have never tried one before. <laughs> On to a blush, which probably isn't that surprising since I've, wow, I've been saying that a lot this video. I'm tired, you guys. <laughs> but I have been using a Tarte blush, and this one is from their Amazonian Clay Collection. It is this color here. This one is in the color Captivating. It is a very pretty blush. It has a lot of pigmentation in it. It is just a good blush, like, all around. Oh, you guys can't see it that well. 
but it just has such a pretty color and it's very highly pigmented so the one thing I do have to say about this blush is that I find that I need to blend it out quite a bit but then it just kind of makes me look like I've been like running outside and have a little bit of pink in my cheeks which I'm a big fan of <laughs> again from the Lancome line I've been loving a particular lipstick this one is called fashion icon and is from the color design collection it is kind of a purpley red mauvey color I just really like it I can't even say why I like this color so much it just has such a pretty pigment to it it almost comes off like pinky purple brown I just like it and I think for fall this will probably become one of my go-to lipsticks just overall I've been wearing it a lot this month but I think now especially for the end of the of October that it was getting really really cold this has definitely been one of the ones that I've been pulling for the most so keep an eye out for this color guys <laughs> okay guys so the next two things that I'm going to talk about are actually two things that I got in my monthly subscription boxes for last month and I know what you're thinking you love something that you got in your box I actually loved two things oh my gosh <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is a exfoliant and I'm kind of a picky Nikki I don't even know if that's a thing, but I'm that when it comes to exfoliants because I don't like them to feel grimy, I don't want them to be sticky, and I don't want them to be super difficult to get out of my hair. For some reason, they get into my hair because it happens, people. I get stuff in my hair when I wash my face. So, <laughs> the one that I've been loving, I think I'm going to say this right, is a piece. A piece? I'm not not sure this came in with my ipsy bag this month and it is actually a pretty big sample because I don't use that much like I just use literally a dime size amount maybe every other day and it works amazing it has micro beads in it so when I rub it in I rub it in after my cleanser it does amazing things and I think my face has been thanking me for it this month because I haven't been breaking out as badly as normal this says it is a purifying exfoliant and it is one ounce it is pretty good. This is definitely something I'm going to have to restock. And I guys will never guess what I just did. I recorded my entire favorites video and my camera shut off. So I'm going to pick up where I left off. That's the last thing on the camera. And so I just was talking about the Epice um, purifying exfoliant. So the next thing that I have gotten from my monthly subscription boxes is this little jar and this is actually a lip exfoliant it is called lip sugar and it is by Starlux. to be honest I was not that soaked to try this because I am a huge fan of the elf lip exfoliant and so I thought this that comes in this like really funky little jar with like a sticker on top as the label was not gonna be something that I was gonna love I was wrong I love this it is made out of honey and cinnamon and I don't know what else just First of all, it smells amazing, <laughs> and if for some reason, <laughs> once again, it happens to touch your tongue, be not because you licked your lips or anything, uh, it tastes really good, <laughs> and it does amazing on the lips. It's not too harsh. You literally don't need that much off. As you guys can tell, this is the smallest sample size, and I've used it all month. Um, granted, you only should use these every couple days or after you use a dark lip, but I already have like a quite like a little dip in there, but it's nowhere to being finished. This is definitely one of my favorites um, for this month. These two together have done wonders for my skin all over my face. It's just great stuff. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is my foundation routine, you guys, has once again changed. <laughs> and I have been using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Foundation. Now, when I originally purchased this, I honestly thought that this is what everybody was talking about when they were talking about the under eye eraser. It's not. <laughs> but this is all they had at the store, so I was really confused. But now that I figured out it's a foundation, this stuff is giggity giggity awesome. It's just great. It erases everything. It's a very light finish. It's just like the under eye eraser, but the sponge applicator is a lot bigger, and it just matches perfectly to my skin. It's an awesome foundation. I love this thing. Now, one thing I do have to say is because it is light coverage, I do find that I pair it with um, powder foundation to kind of even set everything and anything that I might miss. And so my powder foundation for this month has been by It Cosmetics, and it is the Celebration Foundation in Medium Beige. 
And if you guys were to look at this, <laughs> I've already taken off the entire little logo off the top of this one. It's bad. And I have two of these, not just this one. I have one for my purse and one for home. So that shows you how committed I am to this powder. But anytime I miss anything with this, this little guy covers it right up. Like you guys literally can't tell. And this is just such a light to heavy build that is so easy just to cover anything that I might need. So definitely give this a try, but definitely this month, these two have been my go-to foundation all month long. Okay guys, so, <laughs> sorry, I already filmed this. Now I'm confused with what I did. Okay, so for my fashion favorite this month, it's kind of something a little random. It's a vest. <laughs> it is a vest that is modeled after something that would normally be made with leather and with fur, but this one instead isn't done with soft fabrics. So this is the vest and it is just so cute. It has kind of like a western feel to it, something I really love, especially for this kind of year because I kind of want to switch up my style here pretty soon. Been really inspired lately by some new trends. So this is something that I've been actually really loving this year. Um, yeah. So you guys, that is pretty much everything except one little random favorite is that this month I have been loving New Girl. <laughs> I don't know, everybody's been telling me to watch this show and all of a sudden I happened to find it one day on Netflix and I can't stop watching it. It's one of my new favorite shows, it reminds me of Friends and I'm pretty much addicted. <laughs> Oh, and also I'm pretty much addicted this past month to American Horror Story. I've never actually finished a whole season, and now that the new season starts, I am determined, gosh darn it, to finish all of the current and old seasons. <laughs> so I've been doing that also this month, so all my new favorites. That is everything for last month that I've loved. Time to get some new stuff, you guys. But until then... Make sure you keep an eye out on this channel because there will be a new video upload on Wednesday and on my vlog channel I have just uploaded my weekly vlog for last week so please make sure you take a look and as always thank you for watching and please 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 don't forget to subscribe if you have not it's really easy all you need is a gmail and you can subscribe to my channel but thank you guys so much and I look forward to seeing you next time